Welcome to Cheat Engine Tutorial 4 Step 5. Tutorial Step 5. Okay. Code Finder. This is the password. I'm sure you have. Uh, you're gonna um, have uh, maybe different password from what I have, or maybe the same. I don't know. But um, you might want to write it down if you're uh, new to this, because this tutorial might be a little trickier. It's not too bad. It's it's easy to learn it, but it's uh, different from the other ones. So in this tutorial. We're supposed to find the value of this, whatever it is, and then we have to find what writes to the address of this value, and then we're supposed to replace it with the code that does nothing, pretty much damages the code for the purpose of it to do nothing, to not to change the value of it at all whatever happens every time you click on change value this value changes well we're trying to make it so therefore so that when you click on the change value for this value not to change at all so no matter how many times you click on it for the value not to change all right so the next step is to find the value we already I guess know the value they already gave us the value it's a hundred so we're gonna go ahead and click on next scan and I messed up something oh I have value top on the double it's supposed to be four bytes okay so we're looking for the four bytes it's no longer decimal four bytes now we click on first scan And I have 42 addresses found of a value of 100. Value of 100. So to filter these to find the value of this, we have to click on change value button. Now I have 999. And Right away, in this address, I see the address that has 999. Well, since you're a beginner and this is for the beginners, I'm going to go ahead and type in 999 just to make sure that I get this address only on here. Okay. Click on next scan. And as you can see, only one address left. 999. Now let's make sure that this is the address of this. Click on change value again. Now I have 911. Now again as you can see they match. 911, 911. They match. Okay. Double click on it. And how to find what writes to this address? We have to right click mouse right click on it and then there's options and somewhere in the midway you'll find what what accesses this address and what writes to this address so you have to click on the option find out what writes to this address and we get the prompt window it says uh, this will attach the debugger to the cheat engine to the current process continue yes and we have a new window open up now there's nothing in this window so how to well our next step is to have something in this window the goal is to get something in that in this window so we can uh, find you know so we can do what we need to do I'm gonna move this up here to you. And my next step is while this window opened up, oh come on, stop doing that. 
when my this window being opened up, I'm going to click on change value and something a code is going to show up here. One or two, you, you can have a one or two or many codes here. Uh, at this point, I think one code is going to show up here. So watch carefully. See? I clicked on the change value and then this code showed up. So we're supposed to click on this code and replace it. As you can see, we have some options here. Replace, show disassembler, add to the code list and more information or whatever. We're supposed to damage this code or replace it with the code that does nothing. It's got nothing to do with anything. Okay? So here we go. Click on it. Click on the replace button. And then we get another window showed up here. If I can move it. Okay. Another window here that opened up. And we have some codes here. We might not understand it. I don't understand this code. I'm not a, you know, advanced hacker, so I have no idea what this code is for. I can figure it out, but it will take me a long time, so we have to change this code. I usually do this, and with parentheses, I'll, I'll type in, like, I click on it, and I'll type in either RRR or TTT or whatever. Whatever you want to click on it, that's fine. That pretty much you know, uh, replaces the code, the original code, with the code that does nothing. And at this point, this code does nothing because I added some stuff to it. So click on OK. And this code is supposed to not do anything. So let's find out. By clicking, by clicking on change value, I'm guessing that 781 will not change and the uh, next button will show up so we can proceed to the next uh, level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. So I'm clicking on next uh, change value. There we go. Value did not change. Next uh, button showed up. I'm going to click on change value again about three times just to show you that. Uh, it will, the code is not doing anything. It's not changing the value anymore. Once you click on the change value, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I clicked on so many times that nothing happened. Okay, sorry about that. The, the window being optimized. Uh, okay, so that's our um, tutorial. Cheat Engine Tutorial 4, Step 5. Thank you for watching. And please come back for the next steps of the tutorial.